welcome back to our channel. Continue with the news about Ukraine and Russia war. Russian invasion of Ukraine could become Europe's largest refugee crisis this century. Live update: and hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians uh, have fled the country as a Russian military force escalate uh, attacks on a civilian area on Ukraine's largest cities two days setting the stage for Europe's largest refugee crisis this century. Those are uh, the world of uh, Xavier Mantu, a spokesman uh, for the United uh, Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, who agency estimates 675,000 uh, people have fled to neighboring countries since the Russian invasion began. The vast majority of uh, those living in Ukraine are women and uh, children. An order from Ukraine government uh, prohibits men aged uh, 18 to 60 years old from leaving the country. Russian troops have killed hundreds of uh, civilians, including more than a dozen children, and sold uh, apartment buildings and neighborhoods in their assault on uh, Ukraine. Realities are that uh, qualify Russian President Vladimir Putin as a world criminal, observers uh, say. During his State of the Union address on Tuesday, President Joe Biden condemned uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine and said Putin miscalculated the unprovoked uh, attack. We are the United States of America, stand with the Ukraine people. Throughout our story, history, we have learned this lesson when a dictator do not pay a price for their aggression, they cause more kill. President Vladimir Zelensky described Putin's overnight attack on the residential center of Ukraine, second largest city, as frank uh, and uh, terror. Nobody will forgive, nobody will forget. The, this attack on Kharkiv is uh, a world crime. This is the end of our news today. If you find this news useful, please like, share, and subscribe for our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.